Welcome to another episode of Random Crypto. Let's start off with our disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor and I'm not offering any form of financial advice. Everything that I say is just my personal opinion. You should always do your own research before making any financial risk. Any investing is a risk and nothing is guaranteed. How's everyone doing? In this video, we're going to go over Endor protocol. Endor currently right now in coin market cap is around two cents. Token is rank 141. Got to a high point in around June. On the second, I think. Got to about 28 cents. Project is pretty new. Hasn't really been around for more than a year. But is currently up on quite a few markets. So let's go to the project. AI powered business predictions. So this is kind of cool. So what I can just imagine is that you're going to upload this data. And then from there, users are going to ask all these questions that, that want to be asked you know, for marketing specific reasons, Endor is going to crunch the numbers on that and then you will be able to get within a day the answers to the questions that you need. So predictions as a service. So let me, the only thing I could think of is that currently right now, what a lot of retail stores do is, you know, when you get, when you ask them or when they ask you for your phone number, they don't really need your phone number. They just use that to kind of tie it to a database to have an identifier because not every you need something to identify everybody individually and, and the phone number is pretty good for that so what they'll do is they'll take that data put it into a database and just pretty much uh you know do averages on which what you buy the most what you buy the least and they use that marketing data to per make purchases stock the shelves you know when are the, when when should they put you know winter stuff on the shelves when should they put summer stuff on the shelves they kind of just go by seasonals and just marketing data, trends and stuff like that. So instead of kind of having to go through and manually find all that data by research and you know marketing, marketing analysis, you just put all that information into these computers, ask it the questions, and in about 24 hours, you're gonna get that answer. So that's kind of cool. So empower your people, the data is encrypted. So that way, not everybody's gonna be able to know what you're researching. You know, that way you could have your little marketing edge fast response time like it mentioned up on top it's going to give you the data in about a day and powered by social physics so a new ai science developed by mit which analyzes human behavior patterns to predict future actions pretty cool what i do have a question with is they kind of mentioned something that i think is interesting not right here but this part trustless fully decentralized accountable and censorship resistance So the accountability thing and the decentralized stuff, I'm just decentralized. Okay, I, I, I get that because it's on the blockchain, but account accountable, that's a little sketchy in, in my mind. Because I mean, as you know, a lot of crypto people talk about crypto or just in general, even I do it. You know, we mentioned that this isn't uh, any kind of financial advice, but if this company is going to be accountable for what data is provided. So I mean, like, say a store uses this project and they make a purchase of something and it doesn't go so well in the market, the business crashes because they've made poor business decisions based off of the predictions from this project. Is this project gonna be held accountable for that? That's, who knows? I do think it's a good project though. It is kind of cool. So let's go to some news. Coinbase pushes out X hacking team employees following uproar. So I'm not sure if you guys would have heard, but Coinbase partnered up with this team Neutrino. They were affiliated to some hacking team. They got found out, the team itself, that I guess they were selling data. And when people found out about this, the Coinbase users, they pretty much kind of started boycotting it. They took out all the crypto, deleted all the apps, and just pretty much boycotted Coinbase in general. What did Coinbase do to answer that? They fired those people. So it is what it is, you know, it's just, it's just marketing. <laughs> Maybe they could have used Endor protocol to help, you know, figure that out before they even got here. Who knows? Oh, well. Talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching.